Hello movies and welcome back to the main channel. Today we're doing something very special, two things. One, a trailer reaction, two, a trailer breakdown. But before we begin, let's talk about what I've done to the YouTube channel. Well, on the YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, I uploaded the uh, BBC Interruptions, compilation of Interruptions and the trailer because I don't want to upload any more official BBC Doctor Who stuff on the YouTube channel anymore. This was just a one-off because I wanted to finish the saga off, the saga that uh, I started, I wanted to end. Today we're going to talk about the trailer, react to it, and then read some no information from the Doctor Who website, and then, sorry about that error there, I'm hoping to get a second camera set up so that if I have any more errors, I don't have to use the transition. Anyway, so, we're going to react to the trailer, and the trailer is only 19 seconds, um, so, it came on just before Eurovision, I'll talk about a little bit more, a little bit about Eurovision because there was a bit in it that I need people to know about. But further, let's further ado. Let's start reacting trailer in three, two, one. Press play now. Why did this face come back? Donna Noble. To say goodbye. Why did this face come back to say goodbye? Space Spaceship. The, the rap. Starby's title one. Redacted. Title 2, Wonder of the Years. Here. Neil Patrick Harris. Dancing. Laughing at the human race. <laughs> 3, The Giggles. Title 3. The mo there's a lot of Easter eggs. The beep. The meat. I, I still need to listen to that audio. And. Well, no, the clip will have ended. Right. What I want you to do, um, guys, if you, if you want to indulge me, um, we're going to discuss. A small section of it. Is these little doll creature things? Is that the Celestial Toy Maker? I don't know. So we've got the titles are The Giggles is is episode three. The Wild Blue Yonder is episode two, and the Star Beast is episode three. I want to know if the bits where it says redacted is that not a reference to Doctor Who Redacted the um, big f the BBC Sound podcast because I would love that. We see David wearing his suit that he wore at the end of the of Johnny's last special, and then we see him wearing it without the jacket at one point, and then we see Neil Patrick Harris dancing about wearing his costume, and we see a police car with uh, what it looks like to be a flowered or a mohawk head villain. And we, we see a lot of Donna, but Donna being confused by the face of return, so she must remember. We see a bit of uh, Yasmin Finney, but we don't see any of Wilf. Again, we've not had any confirmation that Wilf's in it. We've not had any confirmation of any clips saying Wilf's in it. But we have heard from TV Zone that Wilf is going to be in it. So whether or not that's true, I don't know. What did I think of the trailer? Hmm. <clears throat> I thought it was a very good trailer. But now let's hear what the BBC have got to say on the matter as a whole. The title, the just beginning of the Doctor's biggest adventure yet. Moments before the Eurovision Song Contest, Grand Final came live from Liverpool in the UK. Viewers were transported out of this world of the expensive, explosive, sorry, it probably was expensive as well, explosive new trailer guarded viewers and an excitement glimpse of what to expect to play this year. The tiny lands in time to celebrate its 60th anniversary and the trailer excellently revealed the title of the three specials coming this year. Special 1! The Star Beast! Uh, special 2! The Blue Yonder! Special 3! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! The Giggles! In the weeks leading up to the year of the song contest grand final, three mysterious coded teasers were scattered through the UK's BBC One scheduling. Each teaser included a binary code which guarded eagle-eyed fans' clues to one of the three special episode titles. The teaser pointed to the biggest reveal on the night of the Eurovision Song Contest grand final. No, nil point, no points, so deux point, twelve points. I can't remember which, I think that's French, quote me if I'm wrong. 
Don't call me if I'm wrong, but let me know if I'm right or wrong there. The teasers are all pointed to the big reveal on the night of the Eurovision Grand Final when the new trailer announced the titles. If you miss them or were out of the UK, the teasers also went out on the Doctor Who social channels counting down the Eurovision Song Contest Grand Final. Russell T Davis, our Lord and Saviour, Russell T Davis. So, Show Runner said, The titles are just beginning of the Doctor's biggest adventure yet. Autumn is coming with three hours of danger. Donna and Disaster are bound to unleash. Stay tuned for more news from the new series of Doctor Who. And watch this. Dramatic. Someone said somewhere, Please, 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 don't make this all about the uh, new Who. Please, please. We want to buy it all, Doctor Who, not just new Who. Well, the Wrath Warriors and... Sorry, I'm losing my voice now. Woo. The Wrath Warrior. Ow, I'm getting my voice back again. The Wrath Warrior and Beep the Meep were from a Force Doctor comic, which was, I don't know what year that came out, but that's classic you. It's a reference. More references to come. Will Big Finishes, 60th anniversary of Once and Future, link for the 60th anniversary. Who knows? I'm still in the middle of listening to the first one. I'm currently listening to another Big Finish on here. That I'm going to review. So, expand that. How does Donna remember who the Doctor is without dying? That is the key question everyone wants to know. Who is Jasmine Finney? Who is Jasmine? Is the father still the same person she was together with at the end in in the uh, episode, the end of time part one? Who knows? Who? Where is Wolf? Where is Wolf's? I think Wolf's wife. No, no, I can't remember. Where is Wilf? Will Bernard Cravens appear in it? A Will at the end of one of the episodes get one of those things that they have the square image of them and say what year they were born. Will we have a uh, in memory of? Will one of them be? Will the episode that Wilf's in be dedicated to the wonderful Bernard Cravens? Who knows? Am I looking forward to it? Oh boy, I am. Who said I wasn't? I'm over the moon. I'm excited. The trailer looks incredible. The budget looks like it's. I don't know why, but the budget does look a little bit better than the Rhonda Whitaker era. I don't know why. I, I mean, if it is, it's because of Disney Plus. I think I remember hearing that. But I do think Jodie Whitaker's era needs more credit than it deserves because it was incredible. More reference. And we we need John Bishop back. We need John. We need um. Oh, what you got? Mandip Gill back. Tolson Cole. We need back. And we need um, um, Bradley Walsh back. All in cameo roles to meet the new Doctor. Uh, in, in one single episode. If they're in, in episodes each, that'll be fine. But what did I think of the trailer overall? It was incredible! Um, during the song contest, the UK spokesperson, who was giving out our points directly from the roof of the uh, Liverpool Arena, was the one and only Catherine Tate. During her little scene at the beginning when she said how much she loved the Eurovision Song Contest, where she thought the event, how amazing it was all running, and, and all the usual shtick, she also said the words, I'm on Z. Was that a reference to, to a Doctor Who? Is that a clue to something else that's coming? Only time will tell. That guy's watching. Time will tell. Bye! I'm, I'm gonna leave now.